Gate. Team Kyungishan Dojian. You know, I'm a much bigger Star Wars fan, but I do like to mix it up every once in a while. Ah, that good on you. Out to Mole Trap. Good Star on Star Trek you. reference. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Mole Trap actually brought me Soju from Korea when he came back to visit. That was cool. Of nice. Uh, props to him. That. Down at the bottom of the map, though, is our challenger for NS Hosa, trying to get the lead back for his team in this grand finals. It is NS Hosa's seal. And up at the top of the map is the winner of our last game, playing very, very well, just being very defensive, and then moving out with a huge attack to win the game. It is Maru Prime. Yes, it is. TBZ here on Daybreak. And, uh, you know, these teams, as we mentioned before, have a little bit of history, and I think this is the most amount of money they've met for in one place, though. Uh, don't be. forget, both of these guys have guaranteed themselves at least second place. With that comes $4,000. First place, though, in this tournament, is another $5,000 for an even nine. So this, uh, essentially, this set is being played with five grand on the line. Yeah, and uh, it's pretty exciting, too, because uh, in Korea, that actually goes quite a ways. Um, mm -hmm. the, the housing costs are quite expensive there in Seoul, but everything else is fairly inexpensive, you know, as far as food and stuff like that. So the the day-to-day -day, day -day expenses, you know, food expenses, laundry, things like that. For a pro gaming house, you could actually get by for a little while on something like that. So, yeah, it's a big deal for these teams to be able to win uh, prize pools like this, um, and it's great to see. And uh, you've, you've lived in San Francisco now for a couple of months. You know what uh, high housing costs here. are. Yeah. So. yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's worth I, it, though. It's a nice city. I will never complain. To, okay, cool. uh, my, I'm not going to obviously say what ours is, but, you know, my first apartment I ever had in uh, Missouri was two hundred and fifty dollars a month. Wow! And not yeah, bad for a one bedroom. And I, I, I pine for those days now. <laughs> yeah, Minnesota wasn't exactly the most expensive place on earth either. No, 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 believe no, it no, or no. not, believe it or not, spawning pool going down here after the hatch first for NSOC seals. So everything pretty much normal. Yep, both of these guys really. Maro Prime opening with uh, what very well could be reactor Hallians, although he could decide to switch it up and do something different as well. Yeah, Imagine is going to be. He's uh, already queued up another Marine after this. By the time that one pops yep. up, he'll have 100 gas ready to go for a factory. Yep, and that's right. And running usually. forward with, his, uh, with an SEV, just a scout. Yep. I was going to say, usually you add the reactor on if you're going reactor and Hellions after your second Marine, because there's not, like, quite enough time to get a third Marine out. You, like, start it, and it gets yeah. about, like, two-thirds of the way done, and then you've got 50 gas, and you're like, oh, I have to cancel. I don't want to delay my, my reactor at all. So, yeah, it looks like it will be a reactor build. Yeah, as you can see, he is just waiting because yep. uh, every would be about halfway done, a little over that, yep. and then, oh, and I 50 gas. Exactly. And I yeah. need a reactor. Yep. Now, how much did this drone just see? It only saw the barracks inside. I mean, he oh, can wow. assume huh. that it's going to be uh, some sort of reactor at Hellions, but this is still a uh, weird spot the, to put that. Looks like there was a little bit of bunker action here down at the natural, and he's going to try again. All right. All right. Very yeah. brave. Zerglings are out, though, so this is not going to work, but, you know, nothing wrong with spending those resources on that for a little bit of time anyway, trying to get maybe a drone kill or two. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. he cancels that. <laughs> okay, there it is. Cancel. All right, so yeah, only losing a combined total of 50 minerals, uh, 100 total if you include the SCV from that. Yeah, lose a couple, yeah. uh, or a little bit there, yes, 100 resources worth in total, and not the Zerglings still tearing after those Marines. The Marines are trying to run away, but Seal... He, uh, he's going to get in there, scout in just a bit. Very brave of Maru once again, not not walling off the front and building his command center on the low ground. Yeah, I really want to know why he named himself Seal. Nice little bit of micro there from Maru Prime, trying to make those Marines last as long as he can. Just kissed by Rose. That's right. Oh, not quite Ooh. getting that last circling, but it does drive with two hit points. Oh, hello, Hellion. All right. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean Seal. Because here's the thing. It's like, all right, was he named after the animal? The seal isn't exactly like a fearsome creature or anything, right? Unless it's like maybe like an elephant seal, you hey, know, or like hey, a leopard seal or don't something. Don't underestimate the seal, man. I'm not. I'm saying <laughs> some of them are dangerous, but most of them aren't. Yeah. So That's true. And he's not named elephant seal or leopard seal. He's just seal. Hellions actually get behind the mineral line there. Ooh, yes, they do. The drones are running away now. The Zerklings are enough of a wall to hold back the Hellions, and they will start to take yep. some pretty good damage. Uh, good positioning the units out of seal thus far, and he doesn't take any worker losses and, in fact, wow. is going to kill both the Hellions. Well, he did lose both his Hellions, but he kind of killed as much as he could with them, I guess. I, I don't know how great I think it was to run behind the mineral line yeah. like that. Generally, you just want to kind of sit and deny creep a little bit. Uh, but he thought he had an opportunity. He went for it. Ah, there's a third command center. Ow. We've been seeing this quite a bit lately. 
Yeah, but just it's it's where Mario's building his buildings this go around. <laughs> it's just he's he's so brave. He, he plays unique, man. He has a very unique style to just the way he does yeah. things. He he doesn't necessarily change his build orders all that much from the standard, but just the way he executes them is, is generally a little bit different, which is kind of cool. Yeah, definitely a, a unique execution here yeah. is going to try and put up that creature tumor once again. The Hellion's just walking back no. in, very <laughs> denying it, like a bad vaudeville, vaudeville sketch down there. Yep. Or a good vaudeville sketch. Ma -na -ma -ma -na -na. Good for Terran. Yes. Siege mode on the way as well, so Maru Prime just kind of going to stay safe. A third cancel. <laughs> wow, that creature has been canceled more than most uh, extractors when you try to steal that against your opponent with ZBT. No kidding. Most that don't even last that long. That's been canceled more times than Fox has canceled my favorite shows on their network, so. Ah, does that happen a lot? Yeah. Nice. John Doe and Arrested Development, I it's love been you. been canceled <laughs> more times than a red spell against a blue control deck. Oh, God. Oh, there you go. Blue control Magic decks. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm learning to hate those. All hey, right. Man, at least Stasis isn't in the game anymore. <laughs> Somebody out there knows what I'm talking about. And, uh, well, wow. it's not standard anymore. God, Maru, he's just investing into more upgrades right now. Double engineering bay, three command center. He's yeah. got almost no units on the field. He is playing so greedy. Yep, spending all his stuff. But, yeah, like you said, playing very, very greedy. He can't even really produce out of everything he has right now. Just barely can't. Uh, once he gets those upgrades going a little bit more, gets a few more SCVs out on the way, he will be able to... Uh, being able to mule with three command centers is really going to help him as well. Yeah. But... Yeah, like you said, he's going for a lot of stuff right now. But, you know, I think he knows his opponent. Seal generally isn't aggressive. He's got those Hellions to worry about. Looks like, uh, well, oh, yeah, that's just not going to work there. Going to kill one Hellion. Is he going to get two? No. Did clean up a lot of uh, loose creep tumors there. So, I mean, I'm not saying it necessarily justified the loss of as many nope. Hellions uh, as he did lose two Hellions. But he cleans up six Lings and uh, three active creep tumors. Yeah, it's not bad. There's a Spire on the way for uh, NSOS' seal, and he did start that hatchery actually slightly before the Spire, so about the same time. Here's a pretty standard play from seal all, all around. Already getting Baneling speed, and yeah, Burrow. He loves to get Burrow. We've seen him use that a lot of times in ZVP. He's generally pretty good at spreading out Banelings around the map. Yeah, and Maru just, inv he wants, you know, if he gets his infrastructure up and running right now, he is he is going to be able to dominate off of just sheer production. He's getting a second factory. He's getting an additional three barracks. He's already throwing on add-ons for his other one. So um, supposing he doesn't die in the next minute and a half, he is going to be able to produce like mad. Well, we'll see. I mean, he'll, he'll certainly have, to have a lot of production buildings, but he won't have a third base yet. So... He may find that a True. little bit difficult to take, given that there will be Mutalisks out on the field probably by the time he's planning on doing that. From the looks of it, it'll be, it'll be like seven or eight. Um, yeah. Depends on if he decides to get plus one for the flyer attacks right away or not. So that may be a little bit of a challenge. It'll draw his army out of position. That might be something that Seal can exploit as well. So I, I feel like with Maru Prime's play, uh, this is kind of leading him into a situation where he's going to need to be extra, extra careful for the next couple minutes in this game. All right. Well, we'll see if Seal is able to make his way in in a second. It is nine Mutas coming out at once, not investing in his plus one weapons quite yet. Uh, he does have plus one ground attacks coming out as well. No real surprise there. I see how the Baneling Nest. Yeah, he already has a Baneling Nest up at the front, oh, yeah. too. He's got Baneling speed and everything. He's well prepared yep. for this. He's got Burrow. Yep, yep. He'll be able to start putting Banelings all over the place, drawing out some scans. So this is, and I've got to say, his creep spread, despite how many creep tumors were initially denied, yeah. is looking pretty spectacular. Well, he was showing some great creep spread just the other day, too, when we yes. saw him play. So I, I would say he's definitely, definitely one of the most talented up-and-coming Zerg players right now in Korea. Um, but we'll have to see how well he does in the GSL here. I mean, I think he's going to try to qualify, because I don't think he's in code A right now. Uh, I don't believe he is. Yeah. He definitely should be, though, because he's certainly playing on There's that level. a lot level. of people that should be. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've seen him knock out some code Essers in this tournament pretty well, though. Oh, so. yeah, absolutely. All right, so we'll Seal rolling his way through. See oh, if he green. drops down. Yeah, oh. Baneling Mines. He's going to start poking at this uh, orbital command. Try and draw those uh. units over the Baneling Mines. Oh, they ran around the side. What is that? Yeah, and uh, here's the thing. Like, Mario oh. Prime should know that Seal's trying to draw oh. him off. Oh, he gets it. Nice. Yeah, I, you know... I I don't know about that, because here's the thing now. Now uh, Maru Prime knows without a doubt that he's going to need to worry about Burrowed Banelings, right? So that's going to help him out. Um, and I feel like it's it's too obvious to just run up with your mutas and be like, hey, check me out. Hey, don't you want to chase me? I'm a mutalisk. 
Oh, oh my God! It might work. Oh my gosh! Sure, what are you right waiting for? Oh, oh God! Yeah. Bailing mines have already been awesome in this game. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> wow. And that might be all Seal needs here. Oh, I don't Whoa. know if I want to see him attack there. Yeah, maybe not. No. That tank's like, nope, not going down there. <laughs> nope. <laughs> all right. No, no. We do have a Thor coming up now. And, uh, you know, you kind of said before that Maru is going to find it hard to take that third. Well, now yeah. he knows that there's a big roving pack of Muta's out, there's Speedlings, there's Speed Banelings. It's going to be difficult for him to maneuver, and he especially has to watch out for those Baneling Mines uh, as well. Look, look already scan. having to throw out scans, yeah. Yeah, and he has to scan, but there's nothing there. So nice little uh, waste caused by Seal. Uh -huh. Making a lot of Banelings. God, that is quite a few Banelings right now. He's got 23 of them on the way, plus the 16. They're already out. Actually, 16 plus 16 is 32. Check that out. I can do math. <laughs> I'm learning. Well done. You're too late to learn math. Well Everyone. done. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 36 more links coming up. Pathogen Glands almost finished now as uh, we'll see, start to see some infestors oh, in just a bit. Seal's basically got this army surrounded, but the tank spread is really, really nice from Maru Prime. The uh -huh. uh, More the tank arrangement than the spread itself. Yeah. And, uh, of course, there is that Thor there as well. And right now, you know, Maru is not, or Seal rather, is not maxed out, so there's no reason to really go for this at this point in time. He's getting some more upgrades. He can kind of afford to let Maru sit there for a little bit. And, uh, yeah, Adrenal Glands is already coming oh, out. Mario going to try and make something happen with a drop along the top left. But it was spotted by yep. Seal. And he's already shifting a bunch of units up there. But that gives uh, Maru enough of a go-ahead to start killing some creep tumors and moving through the bottom. If you look at the minimap, though, I mean, yeah, he's counterattacking with. He could also use that for a really nice flank as well. Oh, that drop is owned. And at the natural, All right, here we go. Oh, Seal gets in. Maru did not lift his uh -oh. uh, his. Supply Depot. Oh, no. Banelings rolling through. A lot of SUVs could fall. Not a great split on them yet, either. Oh, the Banelings are not wanting to kill anything right no, now, apparently. All evidently. Right. Uh, Pacifist Banelings. Still but going to be enough damage. I mean, that's quite a few amount. units killed. Yeah, uh, once again, you know, no third anytime soon for Maru Prime. And here comes Seal again. The Marines are trapped out of the outfit. They're trapped between the tanks. But where are the Banelings? Taking out the, sword, the Thor, but the Banelings were just way behind. Yeah. Not a good engagement at all for NSO Cecile. He's still ahead, but <laughs> oh it was bad. Oh, keep waiting for those Baneling bombs to keep going off. That's Only just a circling sitting there. All right, what's the workers lost? 23 workers killed, and there are 33 SEVs to 89 drones right now. Yeah. Now, here's the thing that uh, I feel like Seal missed a couple opportunities there to get a nice flank on the army of Maru Prime. That last one, he may have been able to just win the game right there if his Banelings had been with the army. Yeah. Now he has to kind of, well, he's probably going to lose his base. It's He's still got two bases up on his opponent, but he generally wants to just kind of continue to make as many bases as he possibly can as Zerg. So this isn't good either way. Our Prime still is a very strong army. Oh, Seal. Ooh, he's able to move in. All the tanks run siege, but oh. he backs up because there was just too many Marines in that little choke point. Yeah. That does uh, force him to sacrifice his fourth He's well, trying to build in that pocket expansion. He's also got Broodlords on the way right now, as well as a couple that are already out. And, uh, you know, Seal's not really, or Mar Prime's not really prepared for this. He doesn't have any Vikings out. He's got a lot of Marines, but Marines only go so far against uh, Broodlords. They only work in very specific situations. Uh huh. So, he can kind of keep pushing that army back with those Broodlords, and then if the Marines try to run up the snipe, he can just move in his army as well. So. Yeah, oh. Prime is in a rough spot right now. That pain link just decided to just do something, you know? <laughs> it's like, I can't sit around for the rest of my life. i got to end it. I'm sorry, guys. This is it. Oh, this is a dangerous situation for those Broodlords. Yeah, it is. Oh, oh, my man. God. I didn't even see that one. Another one. Oh, that's terrifying. Here we go. All right. Nice spread and everything, but no siege here. Infestors, great fungals. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, man. GG Seal winning the game outright. Beautiful Jeez. bailing play there. Oh, my God. I have never seen a Terran army die that fast. No. That was brutal, man.